we're going to talk about the book See and Feel the Inside, Move the Outside by Michael Hebron. He was the 1991 PGA Teacher of the Year. Uh, this is the third edition. Uh, it's the color edition. Uh, there are also a couple other versions that are black and white in a slightly different format, but we're talking about the full color edition. Uh, this is one of my favorite golf books uh, because his teaching is just so solid. And you also, when you finish this book, you'll have a full system for the golf swing. Everything fits together. He's not just throwing little pieces around. It's it's a full system. Now, here's a picture of Michael Hebron and uh, some of his awards and uh, history is here. He was PGA of America Teacher of the Year in 1991, Golf Magazine Top 50 Instructors 1991. National PGA Horton Smith Trophy, Trophy Recipient, 1990, and Top 15 Golf Digest Teacher's Choice List, 1998. So he was huge in the 90s. And uh, this book reflects a lot of his teaching in here. Now we come over to the table of contents. And uh, this first section, part one, is the core information from this book like a lot of golf books or a lot of instruction books in general they have a core section which is the info you really want and then it gets padded out with a lot of information uh now this is like i said this is the core section the other sections uh in here have a lot of good information and a lot of information that will build out your swing but if you're only going to read one section of this book it should be the part one section On page 10, he starts talking about immediately how we can be misled by our feels. Uh, you've heard the saying, feels are not reals. And the, what you feel like you're doing in the golf swing is not necessarily what you're actually doing. He emphasizes that you need to actually learn the movement and learn what you're actually doing. Don't just go off of, well, it feels like I'm doing this, so this must be what I'm doing a lot of times. What you feel like you're doing ends up is actually just the opposite of what's actually happening. Okay, he's got another section here on angular momentum and the forces that turn your body. Uh, he, t he works a lot off of this. He talks a lot about the body kinetics and how things actually work, not just what you feel is working. Um, this section is very good. So, so when you finish this up, you'll have a very good... Uh, understanding of uh, some of the more scientific approaches or ideas of what's actually happening in a golf swing. Uh, you'll learn a little bit more angular momentum and the kinetics of what's going on in your golf swing. Uh, now we come to this section, the inside moves the outside. This is the core uh, of his golf philosophy, is that your trunk rotation or the inside is what moves your outer, the outside, which is your arms in the club itself. Uh, so you really, his theory or system is you rotate your body and it rotates your arms, uh, kind of like a wagon wheel where you've got the hub in the middle that's turning and then it rotates everything on the, at the wheel on the outer edge. Uh, that's what it says by the inside moves the outside. Uh, it, this is very much a uh, body turn, uh, swing, uh, relatively passive arms. That's what he teaches in here. Uh, this section, the back swing is only inches long. Um, yeah, he demonstrates in this book, when you talk about it, he kind of divides the backswing up in between your shoulders and your hands. Most people look at your hands in the club head and say, wow, my backswing just goes for, you know, feet and feet and feet. But then if you look at your shoulders, you look at the inside core, that turn is only a few inches as you turn it. Um, and he thinks you could, should focus more on the inside on your core turn than you should on focusing on your arms, getting them around. If you get your core turned, then your arms will move automatically. As he said, the inside controls the outside.
This is his uh, image of an armless swing. This is supposed to be Ben Hogan uh, over here. And you can see he demonstrates this to give you some idea of what your body's actually doing or how much work it's doing in the swing. Uh, as I said, he believes that your body is the, the core movement is with your body in the golf swing. The core movement is not with your arms. Again, later on in the book, he talks about kinetics and he, he talks of kind of tries to get you thinking about more like the swing being like a wheel turning. And uh, this particular one is just how you get leverage and you have to think about multiple hubs in your golf swing. Finally, when he gets to part five, he kind of turns this whole feel thing on its head. Uh, instead of uh, thinking about uh, you know, what's really happening instead of feel, he's instructing you that you need to learn how it feels to do something correctly because you can't just mechanical your way through something. You just can't be mechanical all, all the time. So you need to learn how to do the move mechanically correct, but at the same time, you need to learn how it feels to do that move mechanically correct. And he's got multiple surveys and checklists in here for you to go through so you get the you can learn what the feeling is of doing uh, the swing correctly as i said this first part is the main part these other sections part two part three and the last part which is the feeling part uh they're really more uh individual tips on how to work everything in your golf swing uh you should read them though because when you if you implement all of these, you will have a complete system for your golf swing. He's, this is a very complete manual. It's not just a series of tips. But the core, I said, is this part one, uh, which is the part that teaches you uh, to use your core to swing or use your trunk to swing instead of using your arms. There we have it. Michael Hebron's See and Feel the Inside, Move the Outside.